Hello everyone, uh, I'm Amma Jirodupada. And today in this session, we are going to see uh, method 12, which comes under non-exact equation only. Uh, this is actually uh, last method, uh, which comes under uh, non-exact differential equations. So in this uh, case one, we have seen already as a method 11, which is uh, very, very similar with to method 12. So in this, what is the case like? Let us see. See, as usual, we have uh, the given equation like, which is uh, non-exact, what it is called, some m is function of x comma y, m dx, n is also a function of x comma y, dy is equal to zero is the given equation, which is non-exact, which is non-exact which is non-exact means we know the condition. What is the condition it has to satisfy? Do m over do y should not be equal to do n over do x. Okay, let us say the condition is satisfied. Non-exact and one more condition here, it has to satisfy that if, if do n over do x minus do m over do y over m is equal to a function of y only it means it will get a function in terms of y only in that case in that case integrating factor is integrating factor is e to the power integration of f of y dy it means with this integrating factor if you multiply the given non different non uh, exact differential equation then it will be converted into exact differential equation so you have given non-exact differential equation. So now you have non-exact differential equation. That is the question what they have given. You have to convert into exact differential equation. So how you will do? Multiply with the integrating factor. Multiply with the integrating factor. What is that integrating factor? E over integration of f y dy. So, but in between one condition should be satisfied that is called do m over do y should not be equal to do n over do x anyhow it is non-exact and this condition also should be satisfied if these two conditions are satisfied then you can calculate integrating factor with that integrating factor you can multiply the given equation then your equation will become exact differential equation once the equation become exact then you know the solution direct solution you can apply we have seen in the previous methods of various methods we have covered direct solution so that's it. This is the theory. Once again, I I'm repeating this theory actually because already we have uh, covered this theory also in one video. So now we uh, solve one problem. We take an example and we solve. Let me take an example. So now the example is The problem we can take now is solve x y cube plus y into dx plus 2 x squared y squared plus x plus y to the power 4 into dy is equal to zero this is the given equation okay so now this is looking like m dx plus n dy is equal to zero only now it has to satisfy two conditions i said already it is non-exact we can say we we know that because we have we have taken this example as a non-exact so but still you can find if you want find do m over do y, do m over do y you find. So with respect to y you are doing, so x is constant, y cube differentiation is three y square, uh, y cube differentiation is three y square. It means three x y square is the first term. Plus second term, integration of, uh, sorry, differentiation of y, one. So do m over do y, you got this. What about do n over do x? 
do n over do x. It means this term, two uh, x square y square plus two x plus uh, y power four. Two anyhow constant. Keep it outside. First term x square y square differentiation with respect to x. So y square is constant. X square differentiation is two x. It means two uh, x y square, right? Two x y square plus integration of x one. Integration of y to the power four with respect to x you are doing so third term is constant so it is zero so now do m over do y is not equal to do n over do x directly you can say four x y square plus two it is you got here but here it is one plus three x y square you got it means the equation is satisfied do m over do y not is equal to do n over do x so the equation is non exact. The equation is non-exact. So if it is non-exact, one more condition we I said. What is the other condition? You have to check, calculate do n over do x minus do m over do y over m. You calculate this value first. Do n over do x. How much we got? Two plus four x y square. It means four x y square plus two. Minus do m over do y. How much? Minus three x y squared minus one over m. M. What is the value of m? X y cube plus y. So what is the final value you are getting here? Is four x y square minus three x y square. It means one x y square. X y square. Two minus one. One plus x y square. You got. So here, if you take y common. One plus x y square only you will get. It means this term, this term will be cancelled each other. So finally you are getting one over y. See the function having y terms only. The function having only y terms. So now you can calculate integrating factor. That integrating factor is equal to e to the power e to the power integration of f of y dy. So e to the power integration of f of y. How much we got? One over y dy. It means e to the power log y. So e base e and uh, e exponential both will be cancelled each other. So finally you will get. So is it a uh, yeah, one over y log y? Uh, e to the power log y. So finally you are getting y. So. This is what we call integrating factor. So with this integration factor, if you multiply the given equation, your non-exact equation become exact. So now multiply with the integrating factor. Multiply the given which equation? Non-exact differential equation. It means question itself, non-exact DE with the integrating factor that is equal to y. So let me take next page. Okay, now with y, I have to multiply this thing. The whole equation I have to multiply with the y. So what is the whole equation? I write once again. So given non-exact differential equation itself, question itself is a non-exact differential equation. So I am repeating once again. X y cube plus y into dx. Plus two x squared y squared plus x plus y to the power four into dy is equal to zero. This is the given non-exact differential equation, and almost it's a question also. So, and I told you conditions are satisfied. It is non-exact, and another condition is function of y. It is satisfied. So, my integration factor I have found that is called y. So, with y I am multiplying. I am multiplying with the y. So, 
multiplying with y multiplying multiply with the y called integration factor so x y to the power of 4 plus y square dx plus 2 x square y cube plus x y plus y to the power 5 into dy is equal to 0. Now you multiplied uh, the given differential equation given a non-exact differential equation with the integrating factor called y. So now you can say sure you can say that this is a exact differential equation only. If you want you can find out uh, you take this one as an m1 whole equation you take this one as uh, m2 if you find dou m1 over dou y and dou n over sorry dou n1 let me take this one dou n1 over dou x this both are equal okay these are equal only so it means it is exact you can check if you want it is exact so if it is exact what is the uh, thing we can do we can directly apply direct solution what is the solution solution is integration of m1 dx y should be treated as constant plus integration of n1 dy n1 is free from x terms n1 is free from x terms x terms is equal to constant so integration of m1 how much so x y to the power 4 plus y square dx plus integration of n1 free from x terms first term having x term second term having x term third term is not there it means 2y power 4 integration of 2y to the power of 5 dy is equal to 0. Now integration of x to the power, x by power of 4 here y should be treated as constant I said. So y power of 4 if you take outside as a constant integration of x x square over 2. Second term y square is constant integration of 1 into dx nothing but x. What is the third term here? Integration of 2y power of 5. It means 2y to the power of 6 over 6 is equal to, sorry, not 0. It is constant. So finally, you are getting like equation. Any little, you know, cancellations are there, you can apply. x square y to the power of 4 by 2 plus xy square plus y to the power of 6 over 3 is equal to 0. That's it. This is a final solution of the given differential equation. See here, I just uh, little recap I will give you uh, from the each page. So see now, first what we have, this theory already we have covered many times, but still once again I, am, I have written here. What should be that is, if it is non-exact differential equation, this condition should be satisfied. We checked. Anyhow, it is non-exact. And this condition also should be satisfied. Okay. Then f of y. It means this total value, if you get only function in terms of y only, then integration factor is can be calculated. With that integra integrating factor, you can multiply the given non-exact differential equation to convert it into exact differential equation. Once if it is converted, you will get a direct solution. That's it. Now, in the second page, we have taken example and we checked whether it is non-exact or not. Of course, it is non-exact. We have checked. And after that, we have checked the second condition, uh, whether it is function of y or not. That also we have seen. Uh, then integrating factor we have calculated. We got y. With that integrating factor, I have multiplied the given non-exact differential equation. Then it is converted into exact differential equation. You can try this. I have not checked. But you can check this condition. Definitely, it will be satisfied. 
and then I have, so it is exact assumed. So I have applied direct solution. This we have seen in previous methods many times and the solution also having X and Y terms only because the question at the differential equation having small X and small Y terms only. So this is called final solution. That's it. Yeah, simple as that, uh, the answer, sir. But you have to know one thing that you should know the formulas or basics very well. And the second thing is you have to follow the sequence of videos in order to understand uh, the problems precisely. So thank you all for watching this video.